Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? Today we're playing Fishing Village, which is a Game Boy style horror game. And there's definitely something watching you in the background. Enjoy the show. Let us play some Fishing Vacation. I, I can't remember who the uh, creator is right now off the top of my head, but I've seen Manly Badass play, I think, a different game by them. Oh, yeah, this is made by Tibawa Games. Lame Boy SP. All right, let's get it. I recently received a letter from a dear old friend. And the letter was an invitation to a fishing trip. It'll be just like old times, my friend wrote. A wave of nostalgia washes over me as I reminisce. It's been well over 10 years since I'd last been there. As children, we'd visit their uncle's cabin by the lake. The lake always had the largest trout you'd ever seen. I slowly regained my composure and made up my mind. I immediately wrote back in accepting my friend's offer. Not knowing it would be my biggest mistake. <laughs> Should have never went on that damned Fishing vacation. So then he says, if you're good, if you go, you're as good as fired. This game is loud. Anyway, long story short, gonna need to find a new job. But hey, we need a break every now and then, right? Either way, I'm glad you can make it, buddy. In all honesty, I forgot all about the good old days. But when I got mailed the cabin key for my uncle, all those memories hit me like a trout over the hand. How has your uncle been, by the way? He's dead. You know, I'm not too sure. That letter he sent? He was the only contact we've had. Was the only contact we've had with him for years. Last I saw, he was going through the divorce. Must have been tough, especially for my little cousin. My uncle seemed pretty happy about it, though. Ah, we're finally here. A bit more run down than I remember. Is my uncle even here? Well, only one way to find out. Last one ends a rotten flounder. All right, the fish puns are killing me already. Oh, I can use a joystick. Oh, it's like all the pallets. Oh, the bumper. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh. Where's the original? Oof. Sims is hard. It looks like Earthbound. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Jesse books slide on the shelves, all about fishing. Painting of a fish. No time to sleep, it's time to fish. It's a master bedroom. Oh, yeah. Huh, there's no one here. Oh, well, more cabin for us. This place hasn't had any visitors in a while. Hey, looks like we still got a little daylight left. Feel time for a little fishing. I'll be outside. Grab those fish poles and meet me out back. Cut that sh off. It's a painting of a fish. Read Inuit mythos. Read. There are many gods within the Inuit beliefs. Inuit. One such god is the goddess Sed Sedna, goddess of the sea. Hers is a tragic tale of many different versions, either good or bad, depending on the tale. Each version features the same conclusion. 
The fireplace hasn't been set in a while. It's probably the cell door is locked with three padlocks. The floor is creaking. I'm sure I'm going to find out the fate. The table is set for three plates. They're all pretty grimy. The inside of the oven is scorched all over. The sink is surprisingly clean. That's where they bury the bodies. All right, that's one fishing pole. Just need one more. The fridge is packed with tons of fish heads. Okay. Can't until nothing but fish bones. Okay. A note. We're leaving. Don't come looking for us. Where's the other fishing pole? And where's the, the other fishing pole? Maybe it's outside. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was kind of hard to see. Don't worry about worms. Tonight's bait is on me. But you can get your own bait tomorrow. The lake's this way. Ah, just like I remember it. A bit more green, though. Yeah, the whole game is green, dude. Breathe in, but breathe it in, buddy. Now that's some fresh air. Now let's christen the start of an awesome vacation. <sighs> Looks like there's something right in front of us. Go ahead and reel in the big one, my friend. You caught up. Left shoe, six inches. You caught your first catch. Ha, well, it's not the most edible fish. But at least we're doing our part and cleaning up the lake. Plus, if you find the other one, you got a new pair of shoes. All right, let's get back to fishing while we can. Looks like a fish in the clouds. Ten can, six inches. You caught a sponge, four inches. All right, I think that's enough fishing for today. Was crap. Rose will be there tomorrow. Time for bed. Ah, fishing is what my soul needed. Reeling and dealing. Does the body good. Bedtime. Day one. Okay, without the music, it's kind of. Oops. Good morning. Up and Adam early fit. Up and Adam er Up and Adam. Jesus. Early fish gets the worm. What? It's a phrase. Hmm. 
Song goes hard. Oh, he got away. Ah! Oh, I got 11 worms? Damn, get more than 10 worms in one go achievement. All right, we going fishing, baby. Oh, new mechanic. Okay. You caught a fish. Twelve inches. Tin can. What if I press B? Oh, no. oops. You caught a tin can. I'm out here getting these cans, baby. Lots of cans. Oh, 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 I screwed up. Oh, I miss it. You caught a bass, sixteen inches. That's right on the money. You caught a McCoy. Flounder, golden flounder. You caught a sardine, three inches. Starfish. Six inch eel. Last cast of the day, baby. You caught a 
Ooh, a ray. Damn, I caught mad stuff. It's enough fishing for today. A damn bird. Unsexual day fishing in the bucket. Too bad my uncles are here to see all those catches. Read more mythos? In this version of the tales, Sedna is a lovely maiden. Pursued by many of the local men, she rejects them all. As her father grows impatient, he meets an unknown hunter. The hunter requests his daughter's hand in marriage. The father accepts the offer, giving him giving him his daughter. I'll read some more tomorrow. Hey, buddy. I have my tears on that room, I'm sorry. Day two. Okay, now I'm getting warm again. Oh. 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 Yep. The father, in his haste, had just given his child to a bird creature, merrily disguised as a man. <coughs> to determine the right is wrong, he went after his daughter. Growing in his kayak, the man approaches the bird man's lair. He barges inside, saves his daughter, and escapes. Shortly soon after, the, certainly soon after, the creature learns that his bride's escaped. It takes flight, giving chase to its runaway bride. Yeah. Oh, it's just you. You scared me. We're, we're the only people in this house. Sorry, I just had the weirdest dream last night. Want to hear it? Yeah. Right on. Okay. So last night, I woke up, or rather, I thought I woke up. Couldn't move my body. But I could see. Freaky, right? It gets freakier. My eyes started to adjust to the dark. My window came into view. I stared at it. I felt like I was staring forever, but then. This is us about to nod off back to sleep. I saw it. Ah! Ooh! <laughs> Did I scare you? All right, enough spook. Let's get to hook. Let's get to hooking. No. Oh, yeah. There's less fish heads than the last I checked. The trash has gotten so much, somewhat more pungent. The water has stopped running. So things are starting to get weird in here. Oh, left shoe. This is what I got. Oh. It's a little girl's shoe. I wonder if the owner's down there too. Some bats live up to 16 years, old enough to let legally drive. Uh, sardine. Thought it'd be a good topping on pizza, but I can't see why. Thought to be. Catfish. Look at the little whiskers on this, on this cutie. Don't go touch them though. Eel. This eel has two sets of jaws. Beat that, Spielberg. Koi love to be hand fed, just like me. Manta rays can jump up to 10 feet out of the water. That's some sick air time, dude. Flounder, their eyes are on one side. And watch you wherever you are, wherever you go. Creepy. 
All right, let's go get some worms. Damn, two, three of them, three of them, bird. I'm spamming it. Give me it. Hey, yeah. I'm the worm catching man with a shovel in my hand. Okay. Gotta go fishing in the deep. Find another shoe. Hopefully there's no little girl attached to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spam the A button. Get the worms up. Come on. Come on. One more worm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Sim, eight, nine, ten. Lim, Lim. Four of them birds. I don't get any fear. You caught up. Lobster. Oh, we just talked about manta raising. There's a manta in the chat. Oh, I almost pressed the wrong button. Oh, my hand's getting reversed. Jellyfish, 15 inch jellyfish. Hey, my name is Jelly of the Fish. What the hell is that? That was somebody in the woods. Just reel it in like a real fish. Unicorn fish. Unicorn fish. Oh yeah, unicorn. That end is just weird. Cause of the eight bit. Cause of the eight bit. Clownfish. I'm funny. I'm a clownfish. Wonder if it changes. Gotcha. That was a perfect throw. Cast. What the hell? Whoa, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. He. Oh, maybe for one of the padlocks. That was uh, not expected. What is a big one? Oh, my fingers are slipping. Woo! Puff a fish. All right, five more casts. Get everything? We gonna reel this fish in, baby. You caught up. Ooh, clam. Hit the lily pads.
Damn. Oh, I was wondering if there's gonna be frogs. What if I throw on the sand? All right, I want to hit this cave or this little recess right here. Maybe I should throw it somewhere else. You caught up. Right down the middle, baby. Huzzah! Come on, Finn. You love Compy. Huzzah! That gonna be a 10k and that thing going too quick. All right. Sponge. All right, I think that's enough fish for today. Woo. Woo wee. Two. Three and four five. One of the padlocks is open. Only one more day of fishing left, my friend. The weekend isn't long enough. I want no, I need more time. I'm wishing for more fishing. The largest clam ever recorded was over four feet long and 550 pounds. Must have been tasty. That's crazy. Some frogs can jump over 20 times their body length. They're excellent at parkour. You would think they'd be funny or something for clownfish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish do not have a brain or a heart. They just vibe. It's very true. Lobster. Don't shake their hands to greet them. A simple bow is just fine. Unicorn fish. Scientists are still unsure what the horn is for, other than the coolness factor. Pufferfish. One pufferfish has enough poison to kill 10 adult humans. That's harsh. I don't know how this even got on my hook for the key. All right, let's go to sleep. Bedtime. Superb owl. Hey. Hey, are you still up? Honk, honk. If not, then get up. How's about we do a little night fishing? Hell yeah, dude. Let's go night fishing. Let's go night fishing, baby. All right, awesome. Meet me outside when you're ready. I don't know why we're whispering. We're the only two people here. Oh, the music ain't playing no more. Let's do some night fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. I can't read that sign. Just checking. Just checking. We'll get some vums. Trying to get some worms at night. I don't know how many worms I can get at night time, but it's all okay. Cause I'm gonna go shovel anyways. Trying to get worms all damn day and all night and all day. Trying to go fishing anyway. Do some night fishing. Hope I see a little monster creature looking at me like what? What you want? Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm just scooping up worms, you chump. In my little kitty litter box, I'm gonna get worms. I'm gonna never ever stop. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, limb. You get limb every time. Wow. So this is a lake at night, then, eh? Neat. 
And there's plenty of moonlight, so I can kind of see okay. Well, okay. Can't really see anything, but that's fine. Really need to see our big catches. Let's fish on, buddy. That is loud. You got sucker fish. Did you just hear that? Is that a fish? Let's scan the waters. Scan the waters of Lake Minnetonga. You got mail. Oh, a beta fish? Point six. What is a beta fish you to need waters? Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, but it just went away. You caught up. Like a doll's eyes. All right, let's go fishing. Blunder. That's a man. That's all. That's that's old Greg. He might drink Bailey's out of that old shoe I found. You caught up. If he gets close, I feel like we might not make it through the night. Give me that fish. Oh shit. I took too long. Darn it. Oh, a 60 inch swordfish. Blue blazes, we're going home, baby. I don't really ever cast over here, so. Fishing pro, baby. I'm fishing. Pro. Oh, I forgot to look up starfish earlier. And yeah, we got to read about that. I'm a fishing pro, baby. And you know, I play it like a pro in the game. And you know, I play it like a pro in the game. And you know, I play it like a pro in the game. Pro in the game. My hands getting tired. So I'm just doing, ooh, a tadpole. I'm just like putting the controller in my palm and I'm just like real like this. <laughs> and my hand is gathering heat. I right, get the corner up here. Oh, come on, fish. Gotcha, baby. A bone with you. Last one. Let's make it count. We're going to go up right over here with the go ahead with the go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's get the fishing. Let's get the fishing. Efficiency. Mod efficiency. You 
<sighs> All right, buddy. Let's head on home. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. So that's what night fishing is like. I don't know what I was so afraid of. Oh, yeah. Dark. Anyways, thanks for fishing. Maybe he won't kill us so fast. Oh, I can't look at the fish book right now. I can't really interact with anything. They treat him. Tadpoles are born with gills and transition into lungs as they grow. Honestly, I'd keep the gills. So on the lookout for the alpha fish, <laughs> the beta fish. That's funny. Where's that starfish, suckerfish? Calling this fish by his biological name is said to bring about its death. I don't even remember what they're called. Swordfish, this fish can swim up to 70 miles per hour. I better slow down here. School's a fish though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so there's nothing for the starfish. Huh. I wonder why. Well, it's our last day. I feel like I've lost all of my energy to fish. Something about the lake just seems off, but we got to end the trip on a good note. One last trip to the lake. What do you say, buddy? I can't even interact with that door anymore. We still need two keys. I might have screwed up and missed a key. Read more of the mythos. Oh, while pursuing its bride, the creature makes a plea. It calls upon a sea spirit for the help with her capture. As the pair escapes, their kayak is rocked by a huge waves. At his wit's end, the father reacts hastily yet again. He tosses his child overboard into the icy waters. Sedna surfaces, grasping a hold of the kayak side. With a swift motion, her father's axe swung down. The rest of the book is ripped out. Oh, there's still two locks left on the cellar door. The trash has gotten somewhat more pungent. There's less fish than heads I checked. Side of scene scorch all over. The water has stopped running and the table set for three. I don't know what that's supposed to be. There's nine of them right now. Yep, I be, I be shuffling for the worms. Get my worms for the chat. All my friends in the chat are worms. Cause we played Baldur's Gate and then we became worms. That was great. And if I don't get 11 of them, I'ma be so mad. I might commit some sin, but I'm gonna keep on digging for these worms I'm singing. What is that? Oh, I missed it. I was smashing the button. Oh, what is that? It's it's just an animal skeleton. That's all. Yeah, you're probably right. I think we've got enough worms. Let's go fish. I kind of jumped the gun on that. Only got five. One, two, three. All right, let's get this hand going. That's right. Oh, what is that, Jay? It's like a baby wheel or something. We got to catch that thing.
Hey, no, oh, come on. You caught a Holy crap, I caught a great white shark. The head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Aw, oh, that was a little off. A blue tang. Pooty tang. Pooty too good. Here we go. Got it. Pike, 50 inches. Damn. All right. Oh, there's two. There's two of them, and I only got the one of them. One of them worm. We're gonna go with the one we saw first. Better be a damn key on the damn homies. You caught a complete pair of shoes. There's a key, and it looks like there's a foot in there. Oh, good. Oh, God. Throw it back in. Throw it back in. Wait, there's something tied to the laces. It's a key. That shoe. I feel like no, nah, I can't be. Let's just let's just finish our fishing. All right, I think that's enough. Finish it for today. Uh. Yeah, there was a foot attached to that. Oh, it's definitely a foot. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, I don't know about you, buddy. I'm ready to get out of here. I'll be on the car when you're ready. No rush. Oh, I didn't get the padlock. This fireplace has seen better, seen better days. There's less fish heads than last time that I checked. Hey. A shoe with a foot still in it. This can't be. What came first, the fish or the weapon? What was this doing in the lake? <laughs> Bootang has the ability to play dead when facing a predator. Pro threat. Sunfish. This, this fish loves to sunbathe. Go figure. But I'm missing a key. As we drove away from the cabin, I couldn't shake this feeling of uneasiness. I left with questions, and I knew there were answers. What was in the lake that night? What had happened to that uncle and his family? It's not still haunt me at night. It's been a while since I've last heard from my friend. When I last wrote to them, I asked if they felt the same nagging compulsion I had to return to the cabin and get some answers. They were back saying they'd be more at ease if that cabin sunk to the bottom of the lake. But my curiosity doesn't sink so easily. I've made up my mind. I'm going back to that cabin. It has its hooks in my brain. It's reeling me back in. Just hope I don't become fish food. Oh, I thought we were about to be in first person mode.
We received the B ending. I went back. I didn't open up the damn thing. Thank you for playing. Atibawa Studios game. Made for horror plates, fishing horror jam. Twenty. Oh yeah, this is from the uh, fishing uh, horror jam. Early Game Boy font by Jimmy. Well, that sure was a doozy. How about that fishing vacation? It wasn't quite as relaxing as we thought it was going to be. Now, who was it? Uh, I only finished ending B because it was a long day and it was in my subathon. So I guess I'll have to make another video and finish part A. Uh, I thought it was really well put together. Uh, the monster was great and they didn't really uh, use it, uh, overuse it rather. It was a Game Boy game. It was really, really well put together. Uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.